Hello world, here's a basic update on my game progress as of um, November 24th, 2024. Um, so this is the code uh, for a game I just released. It's a first person shooter, a super basic first person shooter, but it was made with a Swift UI, scene kit, store kit, game kit. I also, for the, for inputs, for like, um, it's virtual controls mostly, but then there's also, I do have like, I tested on my DualShock uh, PlayStation remote, but it should work with DualSense and Xbox and MiFi, but using Apple's game controller framework, which I think helped simplify things a lot, instead of trying to come up with my own implementation, would have probably been weird. Um, if I go to level controller as well, I've also got gameplay kit, which is like, uh, if you tap into there, or that probably wasn't the right way to do that. Uh, if you go option click, uh, the architect, you know, it's a, it gives you all kinds of cool algorithms and a lot of cool stuff in there. So go back to our content view for now, and then I'll just run it. But this has been released, and I need to actually put it on. It's in the iOS device, any, because I archived it, and submitted it to the App Store. So if we have it run on a iPhone 16 Pro, do that, you can kind of see it. It's not great to play on the Mac because um, it works better if you have two thumbs or, uh, I mean, you have two thumbs here too, but you know, if you have a controller or a touch screen. Um, not that the controller support was necessary, like there's not a lot to it. It's mainly the uh, these and X. X. Uh, so not a lot to it really, but I wanted to add, I want to, each of these games is for me to start adding additional features and building upon the game. So this is a very basic FPS, um, and it's 3D and everything, but like the enemies are just 2D images, just a 2D image, and then I just have it always facing the camera. So... Uh, if, if the person, if the, this is the camera and this is the 2D flat surface, you know, if the camera's moving, it just kind of, they just, it always rotates to match the camera, uh, front view. Uh, let's rotate this and get it a little bit bigger. Go like that. So it's got Game Center as well. I'm going to cancel for now. Um, if you go into Game Center, Oh, I'm not signed in. If you go into Game Center, it's got two things. It's got like the ultimate high score for, um, you know, lifetime of the game, whoever's the number one. And then there's like the daily one that resets every day. Uh, but we hit start game. And I don't know if you pick up that sound, but there's like a little bit of sound. It's really, really dark looking here, but it looks better when you're on a phone. And there's a ghost. All right, it got me before I was able to do anything, but it's got a time survive, 10 seconds. It's got a score, high score, ghost vanquished, uh, spectral coins collected, which spectral coins are these rotating things here. If I shoot that ghost, get another sound. Come up here, collect a coin. Oh, and I was almost up to that door. It came from behind me, but there's the little doors. Let's see if I can get to that door. Just, and the particles, I, it's just an emoji that I tweaked in Pixelmator Pro so that I could uh, do some stuff like that. And that ghost comes up from there, I believe. Yeah, there's some more over there. So if I go and aim at this guy, again, it's not really fun to play on a simulator, but if I aim properly. All right. I go wee around this way, and these levels are p procedurally generated um, using uh, an algorithm and gameplay kit, uh, like a pathfinding algorithm, or not. I'd have to look at it again. It's an algorithm and gameplay kit. And this is just, so this texture here is just a, like three images. I made a sequence in Pixelmator Pro. And then I uh, exported it out, and this is just basic, um, like, this is the 
This floor here is the basic uh, SCN floor, which is a scene kit built in floor that's infinite. Um, and then up here, I think I used the same thing, but I just made it a different color. I gave it like a darker gray or something. So I kind of just sandwiched the level between, between those for a floor and a ceiling. All these shapes here are just, you know, uh, geometry SCN box. Uh, SCN is like scene kit box and it's a really basic um, cube. It's six edges cube and you can do stuff. And I just applied these textures which I made in Pixelmator Pro onto it and then this is again a tex Pixelmator Pro texture but it's a sequence of images that's getting played out. Uh, and then this is another texture I made in Pixelmator Pro which is just wrapping around a, a sphere. Uh, which again is a basic shape there. And these ghosts are what's billboarding, or the billboarding effect where it's always facing the camera. And uh, so he's just kind of doing that because I didn't want to make extra graphics. I just said, oh, I'll animate him in code. If I get too close, he'll attack. But I'm just going to try to go through this door here. Go do, 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 do. Go through the door. All right, now we're in this other level. Let's go up to this ghost and see him. Uh, Blah. Attack us. If we get too close, then he will come at us. And more of them appear sometimes. Oh, yeah. And now he's like, ah, oh, no, 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 don't, don't do it. And now there's other ghosts. And it froze for some reason. Oh, that's not good. Well, in theory, you'd see the game over screen, but that kind of froze there. That's wonderful. All right, we'll go back to simulator to, oh, which one's which? I had two of them, because I don't know why. Don't really need to see that. Anywho, that's the game, super basic. Um, but it's got a lot of things there that I can use to work on to build out a more complicated uh 3D game. For one, adding 3D objects instead of the 2D enemies. And I had that for a minute, but I was like, ah, no, I, I need to work on my blender skills. So I just went and made some basic shape in Pixelmator. Uh, so I'm going to spend the month of December working on my 3D skills and then integrating those 3D assets into um, Xcode and seeing it. That gun, that was just from Kinney. NYL, I think it is, which is a CC0 gun, and it was in a .da file, so I could pull that in really easily. Um, yeah, if you go to graphics, and this is all, this is everything. I've got a couple sounds and some graphics. Not all of them, and it's spelled wrong. Wow. Uh, the ghost one, see, it's just a little particle system where it changes to play infinitely, but. Um, and the blaster, just a basic 3D object. So, um, and sound effects and some code there. So, basically, I want to make a little update that that's what I kind of got out and what I want to do going forward. Hopefully, starting in 2025, we start putting out some tutorials on like how to make certain things using Swift UI, Scene Kit, uh, Gameplay Kit. Um, all these Apple frameworks to make, and the game controller framework, because I'm going to build out more functionality, because you can do a lot that I didn't even really touch on. I'm pretty sure the game controller kit allows you to work with the haptics in these and, and all kinds of stuff. In fact, I think they actually allow you to, to uh, access this touch uh, pad too. So, I don't know, lots of possibilities. So I want to play around with that. Um, I also want to add keyboard support for bringing again because I want to bring the games to Mac OS, TVOS, and then it's already on iPhone and iPad, but like start bringing games to all of the Apple platforms minus the watch. I mean, maybe, <laughs> but it would be, I don't, I'm not think of it, thinking of anything that'd be fun on the watch. Um, and I'm going to mainly use, for, at least for, for now, for 2025, it's going to be scene kit. Uh, cause I'm not, don't have time to figure out the math and the, everything else and teach myself. And I mean, I could I have time. I could do that instead, but I want to, I like to release things. I like to see something done. 
So I'm working with SceneKit for now, but I do want to look into SCN program, which allows you to do custom metal rendering. So I, I think it'll be like a good, I'll be able to use SceneKit, but then where I want to do some custom rendering, I can kind of like dip my toes into like metal, which it uses like a metal shading programming language, which I have to learn. But as I kind of learn this stuff, I want to share whatever I'm learning and progress and games that I'm releasing and all that on this channel. Um, hopefully for a while, hopefully it, you know, goes well and I can do this for a while and yeah, but understandable that the stuff that I have out right now is basic, very basic stuff, but I want to start building out better and better games, releasing those and then yeah, see if I can make, make enough money to keep on doing this kind of stuff and diving deeper into the Swift programming language and the frameworks Apple provides, and then building uh, my own game engine, hopefully someday, and sharing that. But that's all long-term and quite, you know, conditional. Um, but if you made it this far, like 12 minutes in, I don't think I'll edit this. Maybe I trim off the beginning because I think I had to open stuff. Anyway, if you've made it, you know, 10 plus minutes into this video, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you're interested in Scene Kit or Gameplay Kit or Metal or whatever. I mean, th those are the things I'll be covering. Uh, obviously, I'll also probably want to be getting into Blender for 3D, and then I'm going to use Logic Pro for audio. And uh, SceneKit does a lot of cool things, I'm pretty sure, and this is what I'm going to test out pretty soon here. I've already started working on my next projects, uh, building on kind of what I've got here, but I'm going to be, again, every time I'm going to be adding features or moving things to refine things and make it better and better every time. But uh, I, want, I want to play around with, like, 3D audio. So the audio in this game is... Uh, simplistic I want to play around with I'm pretty sure scene kit has like positional audio so audio I can actually have like like I'd say your players here and there's audio node all the way over you know here and as you walk to towards it or away from it it gets louder or quieter because it's there's the distance and all that just a lot of fun things that I'm excited to start noodling around with so if you're into that kind of stuff uh like and subscribe and share and comment and ask questions and I will try to provide answers. I'm learning a lot of this, so I don't know much, but I'm learning things and uh, hopefully we'll be able to share what I learn. So thank you all for watching and if I don't post another video, again, hopefully in January I'll start posting more regular videos, maybe have like a tutorial Tuesday and then like a Monday dev vlog, I don't know. Not 100% sure on how I'll structure this channel yet, but I want to share information. So let me know what kind of information you want shared. <laughs> but uh, until next time, ta-ta. Just looking for the where my mouse is so I can go press in, in the recording. But uh, yeah, thanks.